I'm tired of waiting for Act 2. And now we have to wait until the end of 2024. And the only thing that they show us is some drawings. Like, come on. So I decided to make my own Arc 2 in Unreal Engine 5 in only a couple of hours. Yeah. Stay until the end because my Arc 2 ended up amazing. It will cover an inventory system, health, hunger, thirst stats, multiplayer replication, dense jungles, dinosaur AI, combat, chopping trees, and more. So with all that said, let's get started. So I began by making the character using Epic's MetaHuman Creator, which is an advanced tool in order to make photorealistic characters in a matter of seconds. I decided to make a survivor in the Ark style and basically add a lot of hair as he is supposedly stranded for a very long time. So this is how our survivor ended up. Welcome Bob. So the next step was importing him into Unreal Engine 5. And and yes, yes, I know that Arc 2 will be third person only. But you know, I don't exactly like that. So because this is my game, I chose that I can choose between third person and first person. So you can see how cool this look. Oh, uh, all right, I, I, I need to fix that. I also enabled replication. Look how cool this looks in multiplayer. So I really couldn't wait to place Bob in a photorealistic rainforest to start exploring and surviving. So here is where the rainforest pack comes in. The rainforest pack is the most realistic tropical rainforest environment ever created in the marketplace, made with photogrammetry and photometric foliage techniques. I definitely recommend checking it out through the first link in the description, and thanks to the creator for providing me with this pack so I can make cool content with it. Alright, so I immediately went ahead and put in my metahuman in this really cool environment. As you can see, it's already looking really dope. There, there are many things to add, okay? Don't worry. So next up, I started working in the inventory system. So you can basically go ahead and pick up things and it will add it into the inventory. Hell no, man. What the f D Don't worry, it's in the works. I continued working and it started to take shape. Now we have, you know, different things. And I also went ahead and tested it with multiplayer replication. As you can see, it is already looking pretty cool. Cool, like there's shirtless guys going ahead and destroying trees with their mental powers. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know, she should. Later on, I started adding icons, uh, stacking amounts, and so on. Then I started making the animation, so when you open the inventory, basically hooked it up, and you can see how cool it looks. It also looks pretty cool in first person, but I will need to make some modifications. Then I made some stats, such as health, hunger, and thirst. Then I made that you can go ahead and pick up an item, open the inventory, select it, and equip it. Okay, probably we can't equip trees, but you get the idea. I began making the crafting system, and then I started implementing some recipes. And now we can craft 50 axes at the same time. Great, it works. I also went ahead and added the player in the inventory S. All these survival games pretty much. I began with the chopping tree system. And then I made that when you chop a tree, it will fall. And honestly, it looks pretty good. I mean, sometimes it bugged and it got stuck, but overall it's okay. Then I added this item pickup, which will just tell you which item you had just picked up. So it was time to start with the building system. So I know that Ark has this instant placement system, but I do really like the one in the parts, where you put up a blueprint and then slowly pull it up with the locks. So this is what I did, as you can see. So we have a floor, foundation, walls, a windows, doors, and so on. Alright, so finally, now it was time to make the dinosaurs. So I began by modeling a pterodon in Blender. <laughs> yeah, like if I was good at modeling. Yeah, so I found again, like uh, always, you know, very good models in Sketchfab, so I went ahead and tried them out. The thing is that I had a problem with the pterodon, and it just didn't import correctly, the animations and so on. So I moved directly to the T-Rex. And boom, there you have it, already working in game. I basically applied some behavior trees for the AI, and look how it's walking around. But of course, I went ahead and dropped him into the rainforest, and this is top notch, guys. There's a lot of improvements to make, but oh. But of course, I couldn't recreate Ark without adding a dodo. So I went ahead and found this one in Sketchfab, drag it into Unreal Engine, and look how cool it looks. It looks a bit weird, 
I don't know, but honestly it looks cool. And lastly, I got back and added the pterodon, so now I made it that it's like tamed, so it will follow you around. I continued working and adding more features. And with a few hours working on it, here's the final result. Now have in mind that I did this very quick and it only represents the main aspects of ARC, okay? If you were to make ARC, you would take a lot more, okay? So, I hope that you will enjoy this, like the video and subscribe to my channel, and enjoy. And that's it guys, if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. Now I want to mention one thing, and it's that very soon when I will be launching my Patreon or YouTube members, those who will be supporting me will have the chance to play with me this game on live streams. So, you know, when it's out, I will be linking it in a comment, in a pinned comment, so you can check it out. For now it's not available, but it will do very soon have lots more of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so if you want to go ahead and check them out, go ahead, join my Discord server, and follow me on all my socials. Now, yes, with what I said, bye-bye.